Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to install fonts and brushes for use in Photoshop CS6. Okay, so first things first, let's start off with fonts, as they're probably the most simplest. So here I'm on www.defont.com. Um it's a great website, it's got loads of fonts on it, they're all free, which is probably the best thing about it. So we can go to top and we can look at some of their top fonts and stuff like that, all the ones that are popular at the moment. So if I just select any old font um, and click download here, it will download it. Downloads as a zip in I've got WinRAR, um, which is a archiving tool. But zips are Windows native anyway, so on Windows you should just be able to unzip a zip. So I'm just going to extract that. So I've downloaded it, it's in my downloads and it's been extracted. So if I head to downloads, you'll see, there we go, that's the zip that I got. You can also extract zip by right clicking and clicking extract here and stuff like that. And there we go, it extracts it right there. Now, there's two ways to install fonts in Windows 7. One, you can click on it, right click, and install. Now if you do this, okay, I've already got it installed, but if you didn't, it would come up with this over here, installing fonts. So I'm just going to click yes, and it would install it. That's one way. Another way is you can open up your control panel. If you search your control panel, you type in fonts. Go to your fonts folder. Go to your fonts folder. Okay, and here you have a big list of all the fonts that are installed on your computer. So another thing you can do is you can copy it so right click copy right click paste that will also install it and obviously you can drag and drop now um the reason you'd want might want to copy is you might have loads of fonts you might want to select them all right click you could probably right click and install all of them as well but there are a few ways to do it on Windows XP you must drag and drop to the fonts folder Okay, you can't just right click install. But on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Vista, you're alright, but you shouldn't be using Vista. Um, okay, so that's fonts. Easy enough. Now, brushes. Brushes are a little bit more different, a little less obvious. So, here I am on deviantart.com. I've already searched Photoshop brushes. Now, this website is brilliant. If you're into any sort of graphical art at all, DeviantArt, you have to go to this website. Now, there's a load of brilliant people who have made some brilliant brushes, so I'll click on one here. Splat brushes, you made them in Photoshop CS2. Now, on DeviantArt, you can download people's files if they let you on the right hand side here. Now, some brushes on DeviantArt are zips, some are RARs, some are ABRs. Now, ABR is the raw brush, so I'll just click download file here. Um, and it should appear in my downloads. Oops, that's familiar. Oh well. Come on, download. There we go. Alright, so if I navigate to my downloads folder, we'll see the brush coming up here. Right, now brushes, as I said earlier, are .abr files. Now, you want to copy this. You want to copy your brushes, and this is where you want to put them. So you want to go to C, your local disk, wherever your operating system is installed. Or where, no, actually, wherever Photoshop's installed. So program files. This is the default location. You may have installed elsewhere program files and then you want Adobe Adobe Photoshop CS6 mine 64 bit but you may well have 32 bit then this goes into presets brushes and you paste now may ask for admin permission just click continue as long as you're an admin you should be able to install it and there it is Photoshop brushes for Photoshop by Darth Eladrios or whatever his name is so one thing, Photoshop will not load brushes straight away. You have to close Photoshop and reopen it again. So if you've already got it open and you just put brushes into the brushes folder, you must close and reopen Photoshop. On a Mac, you need to quit Photoshop and reopen it, not just close it, quit it. So anyway, as you can see here, it's loading up. It's reading preferences. It will initialize your plugins and it will also load your brushes all in one. So now, if I make a new program, um, 500 by 500 should do nicely, and I select my brush, 
well. All right. I select my brush, and now you've got this little drop-down tool here. And then you've got this little gear. If you click that, you've got all your brushes here. So the ones I just installed are here. So if I click that, yep, okay, sure, because all I have are the basic brushes loaded, and my color's green. Let's set that something black, and we can brush and brush and brush and brush, and you can go here and you can select different one. You can brush, brush, brush brush and then you can go here and you can load up some more brushes so I've got some arrows so I just click OK oh, we can put some arrows over here and everything like that and you can adjust your brush's size etc so you can do some small arrows etc so that's really easy and I've got a load of basic brushes installed here but you can just stick loads of brushes in your brushes folder and they load up on presets there is other ways to load up brushes I, there's a little load brushes here and you can pick ABRs straight up but um, I think if you do this so recent places downloads oops oops recent places downloads if you do this yeah I think it adds them to the bottom yeah it does so uh, the best way to do it in my opinion is through putting them in the folder and then they appear here you can load them but if you load brushes they will be appended to the end of your current brush set and I think they'll also be appended if you click append here yes so that's not particularly organized and I've probably just ruined that brush set now but they are the ways you can install brushes in Photoshop I hope this video has been of help if you have any questions feel free to mail me or add a comment below also feel free to subscribe and check out my other YouTube videos thank you